And all I heard was Willie Mays. You know, people talk about Willie Mays, and when they talk about him, there was smiles, there was good feelings. You know, my uncle, I had an uncle who used to drink all the time. He was wine over, but he's a good man. Uh, he, uh, you know, you talk about, say, hey, Willie Mays, you know, and I noticed he felt good and proud, you know. So I went out to see this man play, and I felt good and proud, you know, and it's like, hey, I was Willie Mays, you know. This was a black man that in the, they were cheering for everybody, whites, blacks, everybody. It was my first experience uh, of that in San Francisco. You know, I was a kid, you know, growing up, and uh, um, uh, I, you know, followed his career. I became a, a devout fan of his, and... One day uh, later on in my career, when I began to develop some athletic uh, uh, ability and, you know, talent, and uh, it became somewhat known around the city, but I used to get, I was an aggressive kid, I got in trouble a lot. Well, I went to jail for fighting, to make a long story short, and I, I had just come home, my father had just came and got me, brought me home, bawled me out, left, <laughs> and my mother was there crying, you know. And this guy came over, I think his name was Sam Skinner, and said, hey, uh, somebody want to see you, right? Picked me up took me to Willie Mays' house. I don't like to say that I was the one that inspired him because he had all the tunes for himself. But I can say this, we talked for many hours. Whether I got to him, to him or not, I don't really know. I never met Willie other than outside the stadium after the games, you know. And I went in there and, man, I'm in Willie Mays' house, man. He paid 80 grand for this house, you know. And this is back in 19, you know, I don't know, 1963 or something like that. And, uh, hey, spent the day with him. You know, he talked to me to give me any lectures or anything. Just, you know, he's just a good dude, you know. And I found out that, hey, this guy is like me. This isn't a guy who's, you know, made differently than I am, you know. And uh, I guess that was a big turning point in my life. At that point in time, I was dedicated that, hey, if he can make it, this guy was like I was. Hey, I can make it. Uh, after that, he left San Francisco and went down to UC, I guess. But I feel right now, in talking to him, those couple of hours, I helped him a great deal.